Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'll take you through collecting data and processing it through the National Geodetic Survey's Online Positioning User Service, or OPIS for short. First, we're gonna prepare our base. I'll start by taking note of my pole height, and then we'll hop into our logging settings. MLID has a preset for OPIS, which will provide us with the proper recording format for OPIS. I'm also going to enable auto start for my base logging so I only have to power on the receiver and collect data for the point I'm submitting to Opus. I'm also going to enable backup data in case I want to use all the data available from this base in this time frame since the Opus preset is only going to record data from the Navstar GPS constellation. Now that our base is configured, we'll head out to our point. We have a stake tech that will be a recurring point for our base in the future, so that's what we're going to get an Opus solution for. We are set up and collecting. Opus can process in static and rapid static based on how long your observation is. We recommend at least 90 minutes for rapid static and at least 4 hours for static. Visit the Opus website to learn more about best practices and recommendations. With an RS2 or RS3, if you've selected the Opus preset, you'll have the compatible file and the Rhinex folder once you download your log. If you're unfamiliar with downloading logs from your MLID Reach receiver, we have a quick tutorial on that linked in the description. We'll find those files and select our observation file with the extension .230, then select our receiver and input our pole height, and select the applicable processing method based on the length of our observation. We then should see a success message from the Opus site letting us know we've submitted the file. We then will wait to receive our solution via email. If everything goes according to plan, you'll receive a solution page that looks like this. Giving you information about your observations and a solved point in NAD83 in the left column, as well as information about the basis used to solve for your point. If there is some error with the file, you will receive an email from Opus detailing it. Most commonly, if you've submitted a file that same day it is recorded, the service may not have base information until 24 hours has elapsed. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.